Hello everybody! <laughs> I just had the, the microphone off. This is Groob and Gary, and we're in the million block lock on our way to 40,000. And yeah, I've been uh, messing around with the settings again. I'm hoping to get a little bit smoother, a little bit better with the sound. Because uh, I, you know, I listen to you guys. <laughs> don't think that I don't listen to you guys. And yeah. Let's see what's going on. Um, aside from recording this, <laughs> uh, this is session five, and we're heading towards forty thousand blocks. Hooray! <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, what have I been doing? What have you guys been doing? Tell me what you guys have been doing in the comments. <laughs> what's going on with your lives? I'm always interested in hearing what other people are doing, because I'm always telling you what I'm doing. And I've received a number of uh, videos lately uh, through my inbox, and um, I watch them time to time, time. People ask me to check this out, check that out. The truth is I don't have a t enough time to check out every little thing that everybody sends me, but I do try. Um, but it doesn't always work out. I'm gonna make a couple of boats. I have to end up sticking some things in bike packs. Uh, get rid of the torches for now. Well, I can get rid of these seeds and these sugar canes, can I? Let's get rid of the sugar canes and the seeds. <laughs> so, um, as you know, in in third shift, uh, I've always been doing little science facts and stuff like that, and, and sometimes people have shown me that some of the scientific facts are wrong, and upon research, I discovered they're, they're correct in saying that they're wrong, which is fine, uh, because that is one of the... I don't need saplings either. Why don't I have this stuff? <laughs> Why do I pick this up? And a while ago, in one of my videos, you know, it's pretty arrogant <laughs> saying this is the fact that this is the way it is and I did a little bit of research on it and what caught me is inter uh, what what got me going into this whole line of research is you know I was just looking up some facts about certain subjects and it, I found it kind of funny that there are still schools in America that or, you know, uh, like the boards of education and, and people behind the boards of education and stuff like that who still want to teach creationalism. If you don't know what creationalism is, it's basically God put all the animals as they were on the earth um, as they were, and evolution is wrong. Now, understand that I had always taken evolution for granted. I never questioned it, and apparently other people were, and I'm like, what? That seems crazy. So I, I looked into it and looked into it, and um, yeah, I mean, people are doing that. <laughs> and like I said, I'd always taken, uh-oh, uh another volcano, I'd always taken evolution for granted and just never really thought about it not being true, and... So I had to verify with myself just to make sure that, you know, I wasn't being dumb and there were other ways of looking at things. And uh, after looking into creationism, and I don't know why I got rid of that boat. It looks like there's going to be more water here and I got a volcano. I'm not walking directly into a volcano. I'm sorry. I will veer off to the left and right. <laughs> Ow! Cactus. And I will walk into cactuses when I'm lagging because of the volcano rising. Wow. Um, so yeah, I looked into creationalism and I read everything I could about it. And I'm kind of glad I took evolution for granted because it is sanely more logical 
Uh, creationalism just makes no sense. And it's even to the point where, you know, like, the Pope and the Catholic Church were like, yeah, evolution is such a relief. The Pope said it himself. <laughs> I mean, you may not agree with the Pope, but if somebody's going to be rational about something, then they're going to be rational about something. Uh, still getting that volcano lag, but it should be ending soon. Turtles! Yeah, uh, an alligator. And people wonder why I veer off to the left or right, because I'm not going to risk my life for, for no reason at all, seeing that I am on hardcore. Um, let's see this other boat I created. That's the last of my boats, unless I got one in my backpack. I just might. No, I don't. Uh, let's make a spare boat. So anyway, um, yeah, I was just blown away. And I thought there might have been another case, you know, that other reasonable explanation of why people were fighting for this in, in their school, and there was no logical reasoning behind it. The only, the only thing I could think of is that, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> is that they're trying to save some sort of face with their ministries to keep people in and misguided and don't look for answers for themselves. And it's sad. That is, that is a sad state of affairs with any religion when they, when they have to make stuff up to keep people from looking into things themselves. And I'm finding that more and more with the evangelical um, side of things. Uh, and it's so crazy. I I was not always... I, well, let me say, I am an atheist. Um, and I came to that conclusion on my own. It wasn't because somebody pulled me aside and said, You shouldn't believe in God. No, I came to it. I was originally Catholic. Uh, and then when I was a teenager, I was pulled into the um, evangelical church uh, by a a friend of mine when I was doing uh, bulletin board systems where you dial up into them and everything like that. He ran a Christian radio, he, well he didn't run it, he was one of the DJs of a Christian radio station. You know, he was, he was a great guy and he tried to get me into his church and I went there and I, I just felt like these people are not my people. <laughs> uh, they seemed happy, that's great, but I always wondered later were they happy for the right reasons, you know? Um, and it's it's always something that you have to discover for yourself. I don't mind what you believe. If you want to believe in something, that that's great. But always ask questions, I guess is what it is. And that's what blows my mind is a lot of people will, will just fall into some little thing and they won't ask questions about it. And there's a little light from a, a mine shaft or a chasm or something. Uh, looks like we're going to be hitting some big ocean, so I'm going to be talking big. So, it just surprised me that this this whole debate, and it happened in Texas uh, a couple of years ago, um, and I was watching, I don't know if any of you ever have seen Aaron Ra. Uh, he is basically a student much like myself who has learned a lot about biology, taxidermy, uh, well, Taxonomy, I should say, sorry. <laughs> Not taxidermy, he wasn't be trying to become Chuck Tester or anything like that. And, um... And he, he enlightened me a lot on, on what evolution... The, the smaller, finer details of evolution were. So it wasn't even that I had already confirmed my, my uh, knowledge of evolution, my, my trust in evolution. It's that I learned a lot more about evolution and why it is actually something that uh, I had accepted, something that actually my father kind of ingrained into me. Um, he was a Protestant, and um, and he was always, you know, sound and logical. Every Everything he had done, he had thought about before he'd done it. You know, it, it, he didn't just accept things at face value and just like, oh, okay, that's fine. Now, you know, he's kind of, he looked into it, 
And so that's what I did with evolution again. So I've been, I've been reading a lot about it. I've been reading a lot about math and stuff like that because somebody told me about something I'd only loosely heard of, um, and that was limited fields and stuff like that. I, I forget your name. I'm I apologize greatly. <laughs> uh, I know the name started with A. I'm terrible with names. I've always been terrible with names. <laughs> it's like, what's your name? My name's Frank. And then I'll walk away and. Psh, your the name is gone. I don't even know what name I just had. Oh great. More ocean. You know what? I'm just gonna swim across this as long as there's no piranhas. So uh, yeah, like I said, it just caught me off guard that uh, that this was something I never even heard of or, or considered. And still I mean I feel that I'm right and going with evolution as how things came about. Um, <laughs> I just can't see it. And then, uh, not only that, it just seems that anybody who's supporting creationism is lying to themselves. And anytime they try to teach it to somebody, they're lying to other people. Because none of this, none of the stuff that they're talking about is testable. And it's we we li we live in an age where you need to look at as many and, and trust in as many true things as possible, real things. Um, and I just, I just couldn't believe it. <laughs> and like I was saying, I was, I was a Catholic. I was, I had gone in briefly to the evangelical Christian born again church. Um, I was even at one point a Wiccan. <laughs> I was looking for an You may well decide whether mankind is bettered or destroyed by the products of science.